With me uh, on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum here in Davos is one of the doyens of Indian industry. Mr. Pavan Munjal is top boss at Hero Motor Corp. Uh, uh, it's always a pleasure to have you here, sir. Thanks Thank very you much very for much. your time. So what's the feedback about uh, India specifically? Because the rest of the world has gone into a tailspin. Uh, let me start with the general mood, mood yes. here, uh, which I would say is not very much different from the previous couple of years that I've been coming. Uh, but clearly, the last couple of weeks, what's been going on around the globe has had a definite impact on the sentiment here. And we're seeing that in the stock markets around the globe too. Um, I believe today back home in India, suddenly the markets have picked up. Mm. Uh, generally, I would say for India, great time to be, to be here. Mm. India is clearly the only bright spot across the globe mm. and I, I would definitely say that we need to seize this opportunity. Mm -hmm. In times of crisis, uh, capital goes back home as we've seen. We've seen outflows, not just from India but from other countries as well and uh, people don't make that kind of differentiation uh, as, as we've been making and others have been making as well that amongst large economies, India is the fastest growing. Uh, eventually, they will make that differentiation. But in the interim, do you think we're in, a, uh, in for a period of flux? Um, I would say that uh, uh, taking the capital back home, mm -hmm. not the best time, right. taking it back home too. Right. Um, and yes, it is being pulled out from many, many countries, including mm -hmm. India, but then where do they take it? Mm -hmm. So I would think, again, India has the best chance now. To attract and, and absolutely to attract capital yeah. and we should make the best uh, use of this time what's the feedback from business leaders global business leaders that i'm sure you've met here about what the government is doing directionally and the pace of it uh, while india is is the bright spot uh, but i'm i'm picking up from uh, people from various countries that uh, india needs to do more okay. especially in uh, ease of business area the mm -hmm. infrastructure area, um, inviting uh, capital into the country, inviting FDI into the country. Uh, people want really to be able to do stuff uh, very quickly, very fast, mm. and uh, they don't want to go through delays and red tapes, etc. Mm. The government is clearly uh, focusing a lot on that. We've improved our ranking, but uh, lots more needs to be done. We are still uh, way down there in the ranking. Mm. But is it about doing new things or is it doing things faster? Uh, because most of the issues which were cited as hindrances uh, in terms of ease of doing business, uh, the government has sort of taken steps and looked at each of those things. But are you saying, well, more needs to be done or is it just the feedback loop of positive experiences that people I'm, I'm, have when they, once they come there? And it's yeah. more, more um, all of that stuff uh -huh. to actually be implemented and for people to feel that things are, okay. are moving in the right direction. Okay. Okay. and have that positive uh, mood and positive sentiment. Uh -huh. uh, one thing which comes up again in conversations is the private industry is still not investing. And that's not just true in India but around the world as well. But in here in India, uh, we have a, a bit of a problem right now. The budget is around the corner. Uh, do you think uh, the government will play? Mr. Jaitley in the NDTV session did sound very open to the idea of increasing public expenditure and infrastructure quite a bit more. Do you think that is the need I'm, of the hour? I'm personally uh, pretty confident that uh, uh, the finance minister in this budget would definitely do a lot of stuff to to change the sentiment, change the mood in the country, mm. while uh, generally, uh, clearly, uh, people and industry are, are really looking to a bright future. Mm. But the current, here and now, mm. we haven't seen things move. Let's say for, for my industry, yes, yes. we are having a tough time, especially in the rural, rural yes. markets, which is pulling us down. Now, monsoon is one thing. I'm sure there are a lot of other things that yes. can be done. Uh, even on that front, I'm personally hoping that after two mm. uh, bad monsoons, um, the coming year should be should be a good year. Actually, for us. that leads me into the next question, which is rural. For, I mean, for two-wheelers, 30, 40 percent of sales is rural, right, at the end of the day. Yeah, in our case, it's... Uh, it's even higher. It's higher. Yeah. Do you think the budget will be rural focused? Many are saying, well, it will be. The government will have to do that because it can't take chances with... Uh, I, I think it has to be. It has to be. It has to be, yes. Mm -hmm. Anything specific there? Or it just is about allocating more to existing programs? Exactly. Allocating more to, to ensure that there's money in the, the hands of the, the buyers and consumption really uh, kicks off again. Kicks off again. Mr. Munjal, it's a pleasure speaking with you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.